there's a lot of great horror out there. You just need to know what dark corners to look in. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest horror movies you probably haven't seen. You stole my face. You stole my face and now I'm going to get it back. For this list, we're looking at fantastic horror films that have flown under the mainstream radar. <laughs> Number 10, The Ritual. Those looking for Blair Witch Project type scares could do a lot worse than The Ritual. This movie was released on Netflix back in 2018, although it failed to generate interest outside the diehard horror community. It follows a group of friends led by the always incredible and underrated Rafe Spall, who are hunted through the woods by an unseen entity. I woke up stark bollock naked in front of that thing, praying to it, and I'd love it if someone could explain that to me. Like The Blair Witch Project, the ritual strikes a delicate balance between psychological horror and physical scares, and the terror comes just as much from the men's diminishing trust in conflicts as it does from the visceral spooks. <laughs> Add in the unrelentingly bleak atmosphere, and you have yourself another reason to never enter the woods. Number 9. Eden Lake Tell us if you've heard this premise before. A young couple in a dangerously secluded area is stalked by a group of menacing psychos. Of course you have. It's the basis to many a slasher movie. But Eden Lake takes the tired concept and manages to make it fresh again thanks to its sheer and unrelenting brutality. This is not an easy film to watch. It is violent, it is bloody, and worst of all, it is realistic. <laughs> Unlike most slashers that vie for shocks and gore, this one remains rooted in realism, and the results are just as emotional as they are disorienting. It requires a strong stomach but those who can get through it will find a lot to like here. No, just call the police, call the police! Call the police, eh? What can I say to her? Number eight, Creep. Don't be put off by the found footage style. Creep is legitimately, well, creepy. This is no longer a business transaction, okay? Okay. This is a partnership, and this is a journey into the heart, and um, I'm real glad it's you coming with me. Creep follows Aaron, a videographer who's hired by the dying Joseph to film a day in the life for his unborn son. While Joseph is eccentric and a little off, he is relatively harmless, until he isn't. <laughs> Creep is definitely a slow burn, but the ebb and flow of tension keeps viewers on their toes and questioning Joseph's motives and personality. Mark Duplass somehow manages to imbue Joseph with humanity while also creeping us the heck out. And it's amazing to see him effortlessly switch between moments of poignant tenderness and sinister depravity. Are you gonna let me go? Why are you doing this to me? Number seven, Eyes Without a Face. Eyes Without a Face is rarely discussed, which is a shame, seeing as how it's one of the most beautiful horror movies of all time. Yeah, we said beautiful. The film was initially met with hostile reviews, as critics thought that a genre film was beneath esteemed documentary filmmaker Georges Franjou. However, it underwent a critical reevaluation upon re-release and is now considered a poetic, surreal, and fairy tale-esque masterpiece. It influenced a generation of filmmakers, from John Woo to John Carpenter, who used this movie as inspiration to create the iconic Michael Myers mask. It's not your standard horror film by any means, but it is haunting and emotionally stirring. Number six, Bone Tomahawk. For a movie so jam-packed with incredible actors, Bone Tomahawk is painfully ignored. I'm not sulking, I'm sour. Well, don't dodge. Well, what do you want me to say? No, I'm so uh Starring Kurt Russell, Patrick Wilson, Richard Jenkins, and Matthew Fox, the movie is a deft blend of Western and horror. <laughs> The cast delivers fantastic performances, and the film balances slow-paced, character-driven work with raw, visceral thrills. If you want to question my morals, do it later. And how visceral they are. The gore and makeup work in this movie are unbelievable, and there's one scene in particular that will remain burned into your memory for years to come. Whether you want to watch a unique western with great dialogue, or witness an unsettling, gore-filled horror, Bone Tomahawk is your movie. Number five. Carnival of Souls. Carnival of Souls is certainly an acquired taste, but those feeling daring and experimental will be rewarded with one of the most gloriously atmospheric horror movies of all time. 
It was shot on a meager budget of $33,000. But what director Herc Harvey does with that money is frankly amazing. That's the whole story. He's been following me, that's all there is to it. It isn't that simple though, is it? The movie is perhaps most well known for its striking cinematography and ghastly visuals, as it makes even the most ordinary of areas and situations seem ripped from a nightmare. Don't close the way! Wait, wait! Let me in, you've got to let me in. I've got to get on that train, I've got to get away from here. Please! There are no cheap jump scares, no horrifying acts of violence, and no scary monsters. It's just a creepy art house movie interested in bewildering its viewers, and it succeeds in spectacular fashion. Number 4. Alice, Sweet Alice Alice, Sweet Alice is another movie that is not easy to watch. It tells the story of young Alice, a troubled child who's suspected of murdering her younger sister on the day of her first communion. Go of me! She's dead! Let's go! So right off the bat, you have the murder of a child during an important religious ceremony. Needless to say, the movie was met with some controversy. The dead have ways. The dead don't rest easy. <laughs> with its gut-wrenching premise, Alice Sweet Alice is a solid horror mystery thriller concoction that helped usher in the slasher genre. Unlike many slashers, this movie showed surprising filmmaking craft, with an eerie score, flashy cinematography, and a solid lead performance from Paula Shepard. Number 3. The Invitation The Invitation is a dinner party thriller first and foremost. You know how it goes. Someone is invited to dinner, the hosts are a little wacky, and tension slowly builds before boiling over into violence and mayhem. And while the invitation follows this formula to a T, it is a very well-crafted piece of work, with a stellar performance by Logan Marshall Green. No, we should no, go. no, something very dangerous is going on here, and nobody's talking about it, we're all just ignoring it, because David brought out some good wine. However, it's also a movie about the contrast between inner turmoil and outer appearances, and deals with some heavy themes such as loss, depression, and acceptance. Edie, it, it's just, you don't think I know? I know. Hey, let's get a drink. It's just that easy for you. By mixing in complex character work with the more conventional thrills of the dinner party thriller, the invitation becomes greater than the sum of its parts. Number 2. Possession On the surface, Possession is about a young couple going through a divorce. The Berlin Wall is used as a metaphor for a crumbling marriage. And that's where the movie leaves conventional plots, characters, and symbolism behind. <laughs> Directed by Polish filmmaker Andrzej Żuławski, Possession is like Dario Argento's Suspiria on acid. The acting is gleefully over the top, and the camera swoops and zags and zooms, refusing to remain static. What can I do about it? Nothing. Please. And yes, there are monsters. What is it? And it is glorious to behold. It's more of an emotional and sensory experience than a straightforward thriller, so your mileage may vary, but what an experience it is. Before we freak you out with our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Not quite at the end yet. Almost there though. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. All right, back to business. Number one, Terrifier. You may see the poster of Terrifier and laugh. But you know what they say about judging a book, or in this case, a movie by its cover. Terrifier follows a clown named Art who stalks and butchers people. And yes, that plot is ridiculously simple. But like all great slasher movies, the craft elevates the elementary story. Terrifier is surprisingly well shot considering its minuscule budget. Art the Clown is a fantastic villain, and the kills are as bloody as a horror fan could want. It's a delirious throwback to campy 80s slashers and it doesn't pretend to be anything more. 
At a time when slashers have given way to ghosts and ghouls and demons, Terrifier is a breath of old school fresh air. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.